Hey everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a wonderful day. In this video, I am going to show you that how we can use XSS Vibes, a new tool which I have created to automate your XSS in a very advanced way. Right? So I, I already have created one video on XSS Vibes, like how we can use the tool. But now in this video, I have done some modification in the tool with new features added in it. So we are going to see that how we can use those features to increase our chances of getting and XSS on a particular uh, application, right? So before going to this video, if you haven't checked out my previous video in which I've shown you that how we can create our own custom nuclear templates, then go ahead and check it out. The link is given in the description as well as you can just uh, click on the link displaying at the right side of the screen, right? So I suggest you all to go visit that particular video because uh, in that video, I've shown you that how we can create our own custom uh, XSS scanner, right? Without using any programming language, just through the nuclear template. So it's it's an awesome video according to me. So yeah, go ahead and check it out and let me know what's your thoughts on this. And now with that being said, let us get started. So first thing first, let's try to uh, download XSS Vibes on our terminal. So we have this Kali Linux uh, already installed in WSL. Let's see how we can use it. So first of all, let's go to the browser and you need to go to this XSS Vibes. So this is my profile actually. So you can just click on this XSS Vibes and for you, don't worry about it. The link is given in the description. You just, so just click on that link and you will be redirected to this GitHub repository over here, right? As you can see, I've just uh, modified all these things right over here. Right, so see we have, uh, let's try to see what are the new features that I have added. So these features were there. Now we can detect web application firewall using this tool and this tool will automatically use the specialized payload to bypass uh, those particular web application firewall that it has detected, right? Suppose in an application, the web application firewall that they're using is Cloudflare, right? Now the tool is going to use all those payloads that are used by hackers to bypass Cloudflare, right? And if any of these payloads are, are reflecting as it is, or it is working, then it's going to say vulnerable, right? Let's try to see what, uh, how we can do that. And we can also add custom web application firewall in those scenarios. Let's say there's a scenario in which you don't know uh, which web application firewall is there, right? But you know, there is some kind of uh, restriction over there. In that case, you can use specific web application firewall based payload. Like for example, if maybe you want to use uh, Cloudflare, Cloudflare based payloads, right? Maybe you want to use Cloudfront based payloads. So that's, you can do as well. <coughs> Sorry. Now we have one more thing that the adder.py, which we previously used to add payloads is uh, improved. Uh, a bit now you can just add custom payloads without specifying the attributes it will automatically going to fetch all those attributes from that particular payload apart from that you can also specify a file containing all the payloads and it's going to fetch all the payloads into the payloads or json file right now let's see how we can use this so i can just copy this like this and let's clone this into our repository sorry into our terminal so get clone the space is out so now once the file has been cloned, we can just go to CD XSS wipes like this. And now we can just install this requirement node text. So we can type pip3 install minus r requirements. And as you can see, in my case, the requirements are already satisfied, right? So there's no need to worry about anything. So the basic requirements are request library, Colorama and WAF, right? This uh, particular module is used to detect the web application firewalls. Right, and now we are good to go. Now we can easily use this particular tool. So you can just type Python 3 main.py minus minus help. And as you can see right over here, we have all these uh, features available to us, right? We can specify the file name. We can scan a single URL. We can uh, save the output. We can increase the threads to increase the concurrent request. We can specify custom headers. So if there's an application in which you need to specify cookies or some uh, extra headers like authorization or something like that, we can do that as well. We can specify web application firewall as I've told you before, and we can use custom web application firewall as well. And there's this pipe feature, which means that we can pipe the uh, output of one command into this particular uh, tool, right? Let's see how we can use all this. So for example, uh, first of all, let's try to use testphp.vulnerable.com and after that, I'm going to show you the live use of this tool on a real target, right? So first, let's focus on uh, testphp.vulnerable.com. So now let's try to crawl all the possible links, right? So for that, we can use katana uh, minus u, http, 
sphp.vulnweb.com like this uh, minus o and let's save the file as katana.txt okay let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see uh, so all the links have been called already for testphp.vulnweb.com let me just clear this and we have this file right over here uh should be here katana.txt right now what we can do is we can specify python3 main.py minus f for the file katana uh, dot text we can specify the output or oh, let's say one well, dot text now we can set the threads let's say uh, let's do before uh, setting any threads and then we are going to see that how will the thread is going to affect the output right let's hit enter so as you can see it has been started so let's wait for a few seconds and notice how much time it's going to take in order to complete all this uh, scanning right let's wait for a few seconds so as you can see one vulnerability has been identified already we have second vulnerability over here as well let's wait we have the third vulnerability And as you can see, the scanning has been completed already, right? So if we go type ls, we'll see we have this vuln.txt. And if I type cat vuln.txt, wait for a few seconds. Let me just try to open Kali over here again. So let's go to XSS wipes. And let's type cat vuln.txt. And as you can see, we have all these links. So we can just directly copy this. Uh, like this and then just paste it in the new tab and we'll see that the xss will get popped up like this okay now let's try to specify the threads right so i can type python 3 so let me first delete this uh output file and then we're going to use xss wipes again and now let's type katana dot text you can specify the threads now so let's set the threads to 10 okay and now let's specify the output file to world.txt again and now let's see uh, what is the speed of this particular command right so now let's see how much time it's going to take in order to complete the scanning let's wait for a few seconds and as you can see the scanning has been completed right so using threads is actually a faster way to scan all the bunch of links right but now if the application is using some kind of uh, rate limit protection or something like that then the application may trigger the firewall or maybe the rate limit of that particular application so use it according to you so if you think that uh, you need to specify the threads then go ahead and do it so the maximum threads you can do is 10 right and i suggest you all to use at least five threads so five threads is not bad and it will work just fine for you okay apart from that now the new features that i was talking about is the web application firewall feature right so if there's a target in which there is a web application firewall so you can just specify uh, minus minus wf waf right basically it's going to detect the web application firewall on that particular uh, endpoint if there is any web application firewall that is listed in this particular text file if it is listed over here then it's going to detect that so as you can see we know that testphp.vulnweb.com doesn't have any firewalls right so it's going to say that no firewall found it's going for the normal payloads right so let me just stop it and let's try to increase the threads so that it will do the job for us in a faster way see there's no web application firewall it's going with the normal payloads and we'll see that we've got all this uh vulnerability right now another thing is that i was talking about in the beginning of this video that what if we want to use a uh, specific web application firewall based payloads right so if there's an application on which you think that there is some kind of uh, security implementation there where uh, you cannot uh, able to execute the xss then you can use specific payloads uh, related to a web application firewall for example suppose on testphp.vulnweb.com i want to use payloads that are uh, usually created for cloudflare right so let's see how we can use that we can type python3 main.py again minus f katana dot text minus w for the web application firewall and can specify cloudflare right let's increase the threads again let's say threads to 10 once again and let's hit enter and let's see what happens after that we'll see that it, it will try to load all the payloads from cloudflare 
as you can see all the payloads have been loaded and now you see the payload is a bit different right so let's try to verify this whether this particular uh, payload is executing or not on this particular target and as you can see it is executing without any issues right so this is how you can use this tool if there is uh, if the tool is unable to detect any web application firewall then you can specify the firewall uh, using this minus w flag right now apart from that one last thing which i wanted to show you is this new adder.py file right so let's see how we can add our custom payloads right let me just type python 3 adder.py minus minus help and see we can specify a custom payload using minus p we can specify a file name in which there's a bunch of payloads by a minus f and we can specify the web application firewall using this minus w right suppose there's a payload which i want to add in which there is no web application firewall how we can do this we can just type python 3 adder.py minus p so i'm adding a single payload in the double quotes let's try to add a payload let's say uh let's say img uh, uh src equals to x on error equals to prompt 2 right if this payload is not any uh, complex payload that we can use to bypass web application firewall you can leave it as it is and we just hit enter and as you can see the payload has been added and if i type cat payloads.json we'll see that this payload has been added and all the dangerous attributes has been set by default so earlier we used to specify the attributes manually but now this tool can detect all those attributes for you right you can just clear it and now let's say you want to add a payload in which there is a web application firewall right so this payload is designed to bypass a custom web application firewall how we can do that we can just type python 3 adder.py uh, minus p again let's say svg on load equals to prompt uh, let's say five yards just for the demonstration and let's say this payload can be used to bypass cloudflare so i can just add like this and if i type payload.json we'll see that the new payload has been added with the web application firewall cloudflare right similarly let's say there's a bunch of payloads that you want to add for example let's say i want to uh waf bypass payloads github right I want to find those payloads that we can use to bypass a uh, web application firewall. For example, let's say I want to add uh, WordFence XSS payloads. I can just click it like this, just copy this, copy all these payloads like this, and let's save it in a new file. Let's say nano payload.txt. Let's save this. And now, if I want to add this payload into the payloads.json database, I can just type python3 arrow.py minus f payloads.txt and we know that this payloads can be used to bypass uh, word fence, right? So I can just specify word fence and let's just hit enter and let's see what happens after that. As you can see, all the payloads will get added without any issues. And if I type cat payloads.json, we see all the all those payload has been added already right without any issues so now you can use this tool to add your custom payloads right so if you have identified a new kind of payload that you can use to uh, bypass any kind of web application firewall you can add it add this into this uh, payloads.json and you can use this xss wipes to use those kind of payloads into a bunch of targets right so this is how you can use xss wipes now let's try to see that how we can use xss wipes on a live application so let's see how we can do that. Now, let us assume over here that this is our target website, right? So as you can see, this is the live uh, working website in the real world scenario. Now, we want to find cross site scripting on this particular application, right? So let's see how we can do that. I'm just going to copy this and notice that this application is built on ASPX, right? And now we can just go to Python and we can type Python3 main.py minus u because here we are scanning a single url just paste this, paste this like this and let's hit enter let's wait a few seconds and as you can see these are the things that are already reflecting in the response let's wait and as you can see over here we saw that this payload has been used and this is the vulnerable url right and if i just copy this 
and paste it over here we'll see that we have successfully got a cross site scripting vulnerability on this application right so this is how we can use xss5 so i have shown you both example on lab website as well as live website right so if you have any doubts if you have any issues feel free to let me know your doubts or issues in the comment section also do join our telegram channel if you want to stay updated with the latest trends and technologies going under cyber security as well as web development and if you like the way i teach then i am currently running two courses the first one is pug bounty the ultimate guide to hunt, hunt account takeovers we are going to learn that how we can find web application misconfiguration that can be used to take over anyone's account apart from that the second course is hacking your windows with python from scratch wherein i have shown you that how we can create our own custom malware in python that we can use to hack any windows machine without uh, by without getting triggered by the antivirus right so if you are interested then go ahead and check it out both of the courses links are given in the description and now with that being said keep learning keep hacking and thanks for watching